Mega Deal with the new U.S. Department of Arts and Culture. Dedicated to deepening our investment in arts, culture, and creativity. We don't have an office yet, but we're building momentum. One of our primary beliefs here at the USDAC is that cultural diversity is good. It is the source of free expression. Think of it as a cultural citizenship. You don't need a passport or a green card. You need to feel welcome in the place that you live, to know that your heritage is an asset. Martin Luther King once said, men often hate each other because they fear each other. They fear each other because they don't know each other. They don't know each other because they cannot communicate. They cannot communicate because they're separated. At the USDAC, we're committed to bridging that divide, and we see arts and culture as key elements to doing it. When we look and listen to each other's stories, songs, images, and dances, we imagine ourselves in place of the other. We feel something of one another's feelings and our capacity for empathy grows. It's powerful stuff, but have we fully recognized its power? That's what we'll be asking this summer, when in 18 places across the country, USDAC cultural agents will host events called Imagining. What's an imagining? An imagining is a lively, arts-infused event in which neighbors come together to envision their towns in the year 2034, when true cultural citizenship is the norm. To craft and host these imaginings, we've recruited a diverse founding cohort of cultural agents from across the country. Taken together, we'll help us see what's needed and what's possible on a larger level. Is it ambitious? Of course. Utopia? A little bit. But it's important, and now's the time.